and welcome back to another episode here at Ballman Motors. So today's video, I want to go over the BMW M cars that are for sale across the United States that are under $10,000. Now I do have a few exceptions, but let's go ahead and get right on into it. Today, I'm looking at Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. There is really not nearly as much offerings under $10,000 when it comes to like variations as it was in my AMG video. So you're gonna see a lot of similarities here. And unfortunately, that's just how the market's going right now. So, so here we have a 1997 BMW M3 for $7,000. We have a salvage title, 256,000 miles in South Carolina. I do like the color, the color's real nice. Um, looking at the interior here. Okay, that's a random picture. Um, I like the wheels. They're five speed. And what's even better is this car is not even ready to go. So if you look at this last picture right here, um, the rear shock is missing. It's not currently installed because the rear shock mount is busted out. That's what happens on these cars when they get high miles. They've uh, replaced the head gasket and done a bunch of those things, but still, like something like that, you, you kind of need your shocks. You know, that's not something I'd want to go driving down the road. You're going to get a lot of chattering when you're trying to accelerate, and it's just not safe. Um, so it's like, wow, why wouldn't you just fix that before you sell it? But, you know, seven grand, I guess they're just looking to get rid of their uh, problem child. So, anyways, tell me what you guys think below. All right, next up, we have a 9,900, 250,000 miles again. All right, head gasket and associated gas replaced around 180K. Yeah, yeah you're going to find that as a common theme. Um, I do like this interior. It looks nice. Um, it's good complimentary and green. But, yeah, yeah, if you get one of these vehicles um, and they say the head gasket has been replaced, please, please get a actual receipt or hopefully there's some sort of proof that it's been done because a lot of these people say that stuff and... Uh, not all sellers are honest, but I do like this listing because this guy actually took some time and wrote an entire listing. So BC coilovers, we got some uh, nice looking style fives there. So not too bad. This is the four door, so it's pretty nice, and it's a manual transmission. But 9,950 bucks for 250,000 miles. Just mm, boy, just doesn't seem like the value's there to me. But uh, you know, these M cars just went absolutely crazy. All right, next up, a 2002 BMW M3 E46. Clean title runs great. SMG transmission. Yeah, good luck finding a, a manual down on this price bracket. 177,000 miles for $9,000. Overall, pretty nice. It looks in decent shape. Um, as long as you're fine with that transmission, I definitely you know want to know a little bit more about the maintenance done on it. But nine grand is actually a pretty uh, economical uh, price, especially for from what I can tell, it looks pretty nice. And here we have a 98 E36 again, $7,000. So this would have your S52 engine. And uh, I like the wheels. It looks like it's black. Okay, used to have a spoiler, then they went to a lip spoiler. Oh, come on, at least plug the holes. Man, just letting the water pour in. I've uh, got some hood damage here. And the headlights are definitely grayed out. Or maybe they, did they smoke them? Yeah, they smoked them. Okay, well, that's just idiotic to me. Um, you need your headlights to see, and then you cover them up like that. They're not as effective. But 236,000 miles for seven grand. Automatic says it has a clean title. Um, has done a little bit of work to it. Um, yeah, these here, <laughs> the old uh, check control, they pretty much say everything's broken all the time. Um, trunk's nice and clean. But yeah, that's not too bad. And it's a, it's a uh, four door black with 236,000 miles. So yeah, not too shabby. And that one's in Phoenix. Here is another E46 M3. This is a convertible. We have a uh, 2004 with 129,000 miles, and they want 9,990 bucks. So 10G, I'm guessing SMG. Yep, has the SMG transmission. It's convertible, so this is a four-seater. And typically, you're going to find these are the on the cheaper spectrum of the M3 world. Obviously, the high end being the two-door coupes, but uh, well, with a manual six-speed. Uh, this one here, though, uh, is the base spec, and uh, it's got some wear and things like that. Typical E46 wear, like right here on the steering wheel. Um, that's pretty common. And uh, but other than that, let's see any other. Once again, another one of those websites where they don't want to show you any information. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, if, as long as you're fine with that transmission. I mean, if you're looking for the M3 experience, you know, personally. 
if I had, uh, let's see, $10,000 to buy a car with 30 horse that wanted it to drive good, I probably wouldn't buy this, you know? I would probably buy, let's see, for this kind of money, you could buy a regular 3 Series, like a 330i and a Z3, so you have your fun car and your daily car. I mean, there's there's a lot of other options um, that you could have besides this. Obviously, you can get a whole bunch of different AMGs, but if you need a manual transmission, you know, obviously, you probably need to stick in the BMW area. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, 10000 um, bucks. that's pretty sweet though here we go a 2000 e39 m5 for ten thousand eight hundred we're just over the ten thousand dollar threshold but i figured i would show this one this one here is in knoxville tennessee 191 thousand miles got the good old what was this one the s62 v8 oh i have probably gonna mess that up i think it's the s62 uh definitely need a new front bumper and we got a tow hook so there's something else going on here with it uh let's see Bumper was low, caught on ground, and broke off. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, car definitely needs timing chain tensioner. Vanos aren't really loud, but can be heard at times. Timing chain will slap for about two seconds. Oh, that is not good. You do not want... I'm pretty sure these are interference engines. You do not want your timing chain to skip, so... I would definitely fix that. But hey, for the money, 10,800 bucks, these cars have absolutely skyrocketed. Um, I find it kind of interesting. Oh, the yeah, there's a dent. Definitely needs a new hood, and uh, that needs to be fixed there too. Wow, just, man, just all kinds of things. Uh, does still have the quad exhaust. Oh, it's got some nice uh, panda styled interior that looks good that looks pretty nice but anyways you know i find it interesting that the bmw m5s are more expensive than the 3 series but then when you go to the amgs it's the smaller cars the c-class that are equivalent to the 3 series that are more expensive generally than the larger so for example i could get a you know a c55 a c32 is usually more expensive than an e-class of the same year um, with the exception of like some of the, you know, like my, uh, like the W211 E55 obviously is going to be a little more expensive because of the huge engine. But for the most part, you know, you look at a C63 versus an E63 and the C63s command some serious value. Anyway, so yeah, this is not a bad deal. I mean, this is pro this is the cheapest one I could find in the country. It needs a lot of work, but hey, you know, th that could be a fun project for someone. We also have this. 2007 BMW M5 for $10,000. I like the wheels. Once again, another tow hook. Hmm, that's suspicious. What's going on with this one here? Uh, currently not running due to PLCD sensor. So I was going to do a tranny swap in the process, but the shop never got around to doing it. Tired of waiting. Uh, also, they were going to do bearings, but they didn't do that either. So yeah, the bearings need to be done and the transmission needs to be replaced and uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff so i mean it's nice it has an exhaust and for ten thousand, it's not too bad but when you, if you still need all that work a transmission i mean what's that two or three grand easily and then plus the rod bearing so you're going to be in this probably more than you would if you just bought one maybe that was better taken care of so this one has 130,000 miles um of course they're you know real excited about the uh the rims and everything the interior oh gosh more trash another seller with just straight up garbage in there like come on but anyways um never had any motor issues except for a misfire all 10 coils replaced oh that's fun oh that's always a good time so yeah i mean these cars here they've definitely i'd say they're in the bottom of the market and, and some instead of starting to go up i used to see these for like eight grand now it's 10 grand for one that doesn't run uh so I guess we'll see where the market goes from here, but uh, these here are the kind of the problem child of the M5 world and uh, a lot of the motor issues and complexities they had with this uh, model. So yeah, that's uh, the cheapest M5 of the, uh, what is this, the E60s that I could find. So uh, I did also want to show, this is the cheapest one I could find in the country at $12,500 in Jacksonville, North Carolina for a BMW M Roadster. This is the um let's see this is a 2000 so i think this still had the s52 engine um so this is the uh, 3.2 liter 240 horsepower and this is a manual transmission car for 12,500 bucks um it does have a little bit of you know needs a little bit of work and things like that the clutch has been replaced and uh, but overall for a z3m this is quite cheap i like these uh, kind of two-tone black and gray seats I, I think that looks pretty good i i like it better than like the blue ones had all of this here was like a bright uh, blue so this looks pretty nice uh, yeah, but this is like one of the cheapest uh, Z3Ms that you can find. I couldn't find a Z4M or anything like that, even remotely close. So this is over budget, but just kind of good to see where the market's at on these as well. I should bring up and just let everybody know if uh, you have been following my content for some more Z3 stuff, that is going to be no more because I have sold my Z3 shortly before moving up here to Kentucky. So 
I intend on next spring picking up a two-seat convertible. It might be a Z3M, it might be a Porsche Boxster, it could be an SLK AMG version, something along those lines. I do still want a convertible fun car. Right now we're entering winter, so it doesn't really make sense to get one right now. Um, I'll let the, maybe the market settle down a little bit around here, um, but yeah. So that's coming up in the future, and uh, I, I do miss having my Z3, so I would like to replace it with something that's uh, you know fun to drive. We'll cross that bridge here later on, on in the beginning of the year, but just thought I'd let you all know that. And anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, let me know what you guys think. And of course, send me an email at baldmanmotorstipline at gmail.com. If you have any listings that you would like to promote either your vehicle or you see someone else's great deal, go ahead and send it my way, and we can get it in the video for the next time. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy your ride as much as I do mine. Bye for now.